Hi everyone, welcome to Garden Yarns. My name is Christine and we talk about anything knitting, crochet, or yarn related. Today for you I have a few whips finished and finished objects. Uh, today is November 15th, a Sunday. Today we had uh, not so nice weather. It's been rainy, windy, our power went out for a little bit. So I wasn't even sure if I get to do the recording today, but everything's fine now. Um, so let's get started. Oh, and thank you for joining me. I really appreciate that. So I did finish a scarf for a young family member done in the retro stripes. Love all the pretty colors in there. I'm going to make a hat and mitten set for her, I think. And I can't decide if I want to do a solid pom-pom color or if I want to do the variegated pom-poms. I haven't quite decided yet. I might do the hat first and then decide. I'm kind of leaning towards the multicolored pom-poms. I used a pom-pom maker to make these. I used the Yarnology kit. It comes with a variety of sizes and I use the orange set to make my pom-poms. I used to try the cardboard circle ones but those always fell apart for me but I found the trick is that I didn't wind the yarn around enough so that's a tip for making pom-poms. Make sure you wind and wind and wind. So that's my one finished object that I did. And this was just 16 single crochets across. And I checked online for a chart measurement and they said to make it 50 inches long. So this is 50 inches long. So that's all done. And then you might have remembered this pattern from a previous video. I actually completed it and I did use a yarn from Cambridge Fibers. It has a really nice soft chunky yarn that I used. This whipped up in about three or four days. It's the cute little Santa bag. You made the mustache separate and then you sewed it on. And this is all just single crochet. So I thought it turned out quite nice and it worked out really quick. That's that's the back. And I, I made the pom-poms with the chunkier yarn and attached them. But for the scarf, I might try to see if I can make removable pom-poms. Or sew them on in such a way that they can take them off for washing the scarf. So yeah, I thought that turned out quite cute. And then I used safety eyes for the eyes. And the nose is a puff stitch. So yeah, it was quite easy to follow. Very happy with how that turned out. And I did complete the retro stripe blanket. I ended up going with the coral peach color for the border. And this, the border is just single crochet. I was going to do either a shell stitch or a pico edging, but I just like the simplicity of this single crochet with the granny stripe stitch. So this is it here. Turned out quite nice, I thought. So I'll have that ready for a future baby. Always like to have blankets on hand just in case someone needs to purchase one or if we have a family member expecting. And again, this was the Super Saver Stripes and Retro. 
this is a far worse weight. It's 100% acrylic. I believe that's a 550 crochet hook or a 5 millimeter knitting needle on the label. It's a little tiny to see. And in this ball you get 5 ounces or 141 grams or 236 yards. So that's that. So yeah, I'm going to do that hat and mitt set and I'll still have a lot of the retro stripe yarn to make something else later. And for the coral peach yarn, I use Bernay Premium. Thought that was pretty. Might use the rest of this for a cute scarf or something. And this is... 100% acrylic as well. It's a four weight. And this is made in Turkey. And it's seven ounces, 198 grams, or 360 yards. So, yeah, those were the two colors that I used. And that's all for my finished objects. I do have a couple of whips. I've made some progress on my bunny blanket. I have two sections almost done. You can see that sparkle in there. This is one of those yarns I wish they carried year round, but you usually find it in the spring. So there's that there. So if I really work on it, I can get about a section done a day, but I don't always, so it takes me closer to a week and a half or so to finish it by the time I put a shell border on it. And this is the yarn I'm using. This is Bernay Premium as well. And this is called Blue Mist Sparkle. And this is a four weight as well. Excuse me. And it's a 97% acrylic and 3% metallic. This is 5 ounces or 142 grams or 258 yards. And it looks like it uses a 5 millimeter knitting needles or 5 millimeter hook. And I believe I used almost 5 of these for one of these blankets that gets 4 sections of bunnies. So I'm a little less than halfway done. So that'll be ready for the next video. Or it should be, we'll see what happens. And that's a free pattern. It's called the Crochet Filet Bunny Afghan, designed by Zelda Workman, and it's available on the Red Heart website. And it's just the chart you follow. You repeat the chart twice. So it makes a cute pattern. And, then, and for the scarf and the bunny blanket, I'm using a five and a half millimeter hook. This is the tulip hooks that I like. And for the retro stripe, I used the, the five millimeter hook. And the last project I have to show you that I was working on today is just one of my favorite dish cloths. So there's a little lint on there. And I was just doing something easy. The Simply Striped Dishcloth by Wishing I Was Knitting at the Lake. And I'm using the cone. I believe this is Lily Sugar and Cream that I got off at Amazon. So I'm probably about maybe a third of the way done. So I've been working on that. So that's coming along. This I can usually get done in the evening. So that'll be done pretty soon.
And let's see. Oh, I did make progress on my other baby blanket. I'll show you that. This is a stocking knit stitch blanket that I've been working on. I got past the powder blue color. And now into the next section of blue. I'm kind of mid-row so it's not as easy to show you when it's circular needles. There we go. That's a little better. I'm liking all the different shades of blue. There's a little bit of green in here too and white. And this, I'm just doing regular stocking knit stitch with a garter stitch border. And this is a mandala baby that I'm using for this blanket. It's by Lion Brand and this is called Echo Waves. And there's a little thing to image to show you the stripe effect that I'll create. So I'm probably about a third of the way done this ball. I just like all the different shades of blue. After purple, blue is my next favorite color. And this yarn is 5.3 ounces, 151 grams or 590 yards. And this is a three weight. I like the softness of this yarn. Okay. Oh, and it's 100% acrylic. Okay, so that's coming along. That's all I have for you today. I'd like to thank you for watching, sharing, and liking my videos. I really appreciate it. And then I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. Hello again. I did welcome to, back to Garden Yarns. I did forget to show you one thing. I did receive my crochet surprise box. This is the box it comes in. And they have the, their symbol there. CS. I saw this on Seta's Place YouTube video, so I thought I'd give it a try as well. I did already have a peek inside. Drop the pattern. This is it here. And they line the box with tissue paper. Let's try that again. This is a monthly crochet box. And it does come with a pattern. You can make that cute little turkey there. I always forget that the Americans, they celebrate their Thanksgiving in November, whereas we Canadians, we sell it in October. But it does look quite cute. I'm not sure if I'll make that or not. They give you all the yarn and stuffing. And they also give you tea. The tea is uh, jasmine the jasmine pearl tea. It's fine mousse leaf tea. It's a red chai this month. It's a granite herbal tea blend. I usually stick with regular Tetley tea, but I may give this a try. If I do, I'll let you know what it's like. And let's see here. Quite a bit of yarn. This is DIY yarn by Lion Brand. Pretty yellow. Uh, this is a number four. Uh, and oh, this is 100% acrylic, 1.5 ounces or 30 grams or 65 yards. It's made in Turkey. They send you two yellow. Two orange. 
and a black, white, and red. They also send you Red Heart Super Saver. And this is Cafe Latte. And this is a four weight as well. And this is uh, recommends a 550 millimeter hook or a 5 millimeter knitting needles. It's 100% acrylic. And it's 7 ounces, 198 grams, or 364 yards. And they also send you another brown. This is coffee. And it's the same measurements as the other one, same info, four weight, etc. They also send you a bag of stuffing to complete your project. So I thought that was a pretty good. I forget the price of it, but I'll try to link the crochet surprise box website down below. Uh, this will probably be just it for this year for the for me, because uh, I also rejoin with crochet crochet society, and I should be getting should be getting their box at the end of this month or early December. Uh, that's by Bella Coco, and I'm looking forward to beginning that subscription box again. So I'd like to thank you for joining me. Until the next video, have a great day. Thank you.